How are you doing guys? Long time no see. Long time no see. It's been a long time since I've been doing one of these videos. Mainly because I found that there has been very boring lately. But we have some small update. Well, not really small. Small there is a new dungeon I think in the oven. What, what was it? This one? Blah blah blah. Yep, there is a new dungeon. So, Terra Twitch livestream patch 83. So, after around a month or so, maybe two months-ish, we have a new patch coming uh, on 15 of July 2019, of course. So, and it is as follows. Join our team on Monday, July 15th, starting at 6 p.m. Central Europe server time for a special live stream. Want a peek at what awaits you for the upcoming patch? Then join our team on Monday, July 15th for a special live stream. Then there is a link below for the Twitch stream. Be sure to check it out. So the ones who will be in the stream will be the Atmorph, game designer, then Langust, the quality assurance specialist, and there is to be a third one, oh, I guess he's not on this time. We'll go through the following topics, we'll enter the new dungeon and fight their way through it. And of course, we'll have various item codes, free item codes, prepared for you to submit. Here is the rough topic list of the live stream. So they will speak about Mangle Meyer and Democrom Factory. Okay? More accessory upgrading materials. By the way, uh, by the end, uh, before ending this video, I will be showing you those accessory upgrading. Um, how are they called? Well, let me check here. I, I've already finished the 40 times Machelarius Catacomb, so I already have this accessory amplifier coin. I will be showing you later what that does. More accessory upgrading materials, yes. New system, T-Cut, T-Cut. Well, I hope it's uh, slightly better than the pet system. Uh, I find it a little bit... Uh, a little bit hard to achieve anything with the pet system. It's a bit weak. Show off new premium items, extreme dungeons. Sky Cruiser is up next. Nightmare Dungeon Contest winners! Don't miss it out, Terra team! Note the Twitch stream will be in English only. So, um, yeah, this uh, the first part of this uh, um, event, what's it called? The Storm Dungeons event. Uh, the first part will end on... Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Well, the event ends on 16th of July. So we have Machelaris Catacombs and Gossamer's Vault. So I think it's on, six, uh, on the 16th of July. And blah blah. Now it already ends. Oh, so. Yeah, it's not the first part of the event, it actually ends in uh, two days. You have tomorrow and the day after tomorrow to complete this event. Yep. So, if I understand this right, yesterday and today you have a decreased cost of adventure coins to enter these two dungeons to complete the event. By the way, I found that uh, actually this event is not so hard to complete. It's simply boring that you have to do these dungeons 40 times. And after 20, after 15 times, it got really boring because these dungeons, they aren't really, they aren't hard at all. And I'm not crying here. I'm, I'm actually happy that they are this easy because I don't want to do a hard dungeon 40 times, I mean, I can only... 
I can only imagine how many times I would get like kicked out of a dungeon bay because of making mistakes and so on and so forth. Which happens always. Either that or it's a complete wipe and you have to restart again and doing that for 40 dungeons or every second, third dungeon. Well, that's not fun at all. So, yeah, I only completed the Machelarius Catacombs. So, back to the event. This will be um, a live stream event. It will be about the patch 83. There will be a new dungeon in the talks. And there is a small list about what they will talk about. Uh, I guess the most important thing in here is the new dungeon and the new system uh, TCAT. And of course the free items, that's always it's always a nice touch to a night to a live stream. If you want to to attract the, the most uh, the biggest amount of people to a live stream or to any event, do make sure to put it out there that you will be giving free items. You know what I'm talking about. People in Terra have been asking me all the time, Hey man, when are you going to give free stuff on your YouTube channel? No, not gonna happen, not yet. <laughs> maybe later, maybe later. I mean, it's, it's not time yet. You understand. So, let's go then to see what are the rewards for the event. Much uh, for the event, um, much hilarious Catacombs, I've done it 40 times. So, I'll show you right now. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. So, after you complete 10 times, you get 10, 100 times Ellen's Mark of Valor, that's good. 20 times um, Titan's Earth, 20 times Titan's Storm. I think this one is very expensive right now. Let's see how much you get for it in the broker. I know that it's um, used a lot in itchings. I mean, it's the only thing it's used in. <laughs> so Titan Earth, Titan's Earth is really expensive these days. This used to be like a few gold coins. <laughs> okay. Well, since they removed it from the Metamorphic Emblem shop, it's been very expensive. I guess this is a way for Terra to increase the economy or something. Okay, what do we have here? Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, it's only a random one. Oh, alright, so. Oh, I sure hope we get an accessory amplifier coin. Will we get the advancement XP Tom 1? Or the accessory amplifier crate? Well, to be honest, I have no idea what that even is, either one of them, so I'm down for whatever. So, what did we get? Crate, we got a crate. So, 30 crates instead of the 25, is that better? Is that better? By the way, I haven't been advancing my skills because I want to make a test and see how much you actually gain in terms of raw power. Uh, when you actually use these skills when they are upgraded, so I will be doing this test a little bit later Okay, so Oh, that's that's a lot skill advancement tome one and again this much Wow, that's like a, a an entire level Yeah, so this is uh, four or five tomes each one of them is 20% a little bit less, it's um, 15, no, 16, around 16%. How much was it? Ah, I forgot. Okay, so there we have it. Well, can advance 8 levels. I'll be doing that later. So, accessory amplifier crate. Let's see. This is an accessory amplifier crate. Really? I mean, okay, this is, uh, well, I guess you can sell it for a good penny or use it in crafting, but this is the accessory amplifier crate. This is it? I'm so disappointed. I thought it was going to be some sort of a new scroll to, to put some itchings or something like this. It's just a fancy name for, for 
how much can Looks we like sell this? Well, I guess you can sell it for 8 each. Get, eh, depending on the server. Uh, okay. Nah, it's kind of, kind of bad. What's this? Adds an enchantment effect, increases crit resist factor, and grants set bonus to the following accessory. Oh, cool. Entropy necklace, ethereal necklace. Right click the item, then left click a target item. Itching remains, effect will be wrapped in enigma. Oh, that is cool. And you cannot trade, but you can <laughs> sell it. You can sell it for 1000 well, that's a little bit stupid Chris's crit resist, resist factor effects will be wrapped in enigma adds an enchantment effect an enchantment effect yeah, I really want to see that but not for these weak accessories I'll be doing this later when I enchant my accessories Okay, so what do we have next? What do we have next? So like I said, Essence, this one is for 25. By the way, those accessory crates, they were for, for 40 times. This one is for 25 times and you get a skill advancement scroll for 100. So either one or the other and 10 times the legacy essence. This is basically one pet. Yeah, I'll be explaining how this works later also. It's worth one pet. Okay, so, 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 so. Oh, that's interesting. Total, total advancement points. So those tomes, they were for, for, for which one? No, oh, they were for this one. So they were for mana missiles. Oh, you can advance it so many times, but I only have eight levels available. So, mm. yeah, it's kind of mad. This event was a little bit wasteful. I mean, I thought I was gonna get a load of accessory amplifier things. I, have, I had no idea what that even is. And in the end, they just give you these these things here that, yes, you use them. You use them in... I mean, after you process them into stronger things. And they give you these gems here so after you process them also you get diamonds so i guess you can process this uh, how do you get it i forgot no no so you can't use those or where is it is it processing so uh, you have to create this and then from this to this yeah so you can you can process these ones into this, but only after a long, long time. And you won't even be able to create enough to to upgrade it even one time. I mean, let's see, let's see. So it takes five, no, no. It takes you five to create three or five. Oh, okay, so maybe maybe it's it will be enough for one. I thought it was one or three criticals. But it's uh, if it's three from each five, then okay, you will be able to create at least one. So you create this one, then you will have to use five of these to create either three or five criticals. Yeah, it's kind of... I think you'll be able to create 40 at least from from this much, but I haven't done it yet. So I don't know I Don't have processing master on any character, but I will be advancing it soon and I will be recording it also Then we have here diamonds <clears throat> I've been creating loads and loads of diamonds using my no, not diamonds emeralds using my other character because I'm first 
processing my rubies into sapphires no my sapphires into um, into emeralds no wait where are my my rubies into sapphires yeah that's right because i have so many so many they are just taking away all my my space now i have over 1000 crates of of gems which i have to open and get those gems and process them also which is a lot i probably shouldn't have kept so many in the bank there's just too many of course they are pure money but even so i want to use them and free some of my bank space and yes i think i'm you can call me richer rich now quite quite i have quite the money now not this of course it's all in the bank okay so yeah so for now this is it i have loads of videos that i have to do loads of ideas loads of things that i need to do but right now i'm going on a vacation I mean, I've been kind of uh, kind of on vacation since I uh, stopped making videos one or two weeks ago. Well, one-ish week ago. So, yeah, you'll have to wait for another week or so until I come back from the vacation. I actually won't be home during this week, so... So, I'll be seeing you in two weeks, guys. I hope you guys... Stay with me until that time. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below about what you thought about this event. I mean, I thought it was a little bit underwhelming after 40 times doing the same dungeons over and over again. Not dungeons, dungeon, singular. I mean, it was so boring. So boring. Especially when you do these low-level dungeons with people who have no crystals and all frost metal items like wrong crystals all around no zura's holy dome no relics equipped i mean it's so long it sometimes takes 15 minutes to complete this dungeon when the people are ill equipped 15 or 20 20 minutes which should not happen this is a 10 minutes dungeon at most, I think. Shouldn't take you more than that. So, thank you guys for watching. As I said, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.